Hi guys, I just wanted to remind you, if you don't have real manuscript paper like this, I was showing you the wrong paper. This is real manuscript paper that you can download. I gave you the link in the, the assignment, okay? So if you don't have, look, this is the end of part one for uh, Funny, the recorder song. And uh, I just used this blank manuscript paper that I downloaded. But if you don't have that, and you don't have a printer at home, then you can make your own like I did here. This is just construction paper, you see? Construction paper. So I just took a ruler and made my own lines all the way across the page. And then I finished, this is actually the end of part two for Funny, the recorder song, you know? So... I just made my own. So it's not a big deal if you don't have music manuscript paper. Okay, now to your assignment. Uh, you have two assignments. Remember, you have, you have to write four measures, and the measures have to have uh, rhythms, and they have to have use the lines and spaces. Remember what I'm talking about. Let's go to measure two. What I did is I wrote my own measures here. I made, I didn't have any manuscript paper, I ran out, so I made my own manuscript paper. So I made my four big measures, which you can do. I just took a ruler and did that. I made my treble clefs here, and I put the meter, and this is all explained in the lesson. Here's the meter. How many beats need to be in each measure? Four quarter note beats, or four things that equal a quarter note. What equal a quarter note? Well, a quarter note gets one beat. See that? Wait a minute, eighth notes get one beat too. Are you kidding me? Rest gets how many beats? One. These four sixteenth notes get one beat. All of the four together get one beat. So wait a minute, everything equals one beat in this paper. So just make sure there's four beats in every measure. I did measure one for you. I used different lines and spaces as well. So look, I put a quarter note. How many beats does that get? One. I did two eighth notes at the top line. How many beats did I get? One. I did four sixteenth notes on another space. One beat. And then I put a rest. One, wait a minute, rest gets one beat. Yeah. So one, two, three, four. Yay, this measure, I put a check mark because this measure does have four beats. Now, let's look at the bottom here. Four beats in each measure. Okay, good. Use lines and spaces. That means don't use the same line all the way across. Not good. Use different lines and spaces, okay? Number three down here, it says, use quarter notes, use eighth notes, use rests, and use sixteenth notes. Did I do that? Yes, I did. I don't see any half notes here. It's all quarters, eighths, rests, or sixteenths. And then the last one, measure one, and measure four, the same. So if I want to do measure four, I can jump straight to measure four now. And I'll put a second space A quarter note, and I'll put two eighth notes up here in that F line, and then I'll put uh, four sixteenth notes down on this A second space, and I'll put a rest at the end. And guess what? Four and one will be the same. Measure one must look the same as measure four. Two and three you can change, of course, so up to you. You're writing your own music anyway. So we call this the four measure composition. Now, how long should this take you? Hmm, to make the lines, you know, with the four measures and the treble clefs and the meter and then write the notes. Hmm, maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 15, to do the whole thing. I'm not talking about one measure, I'm talking about all four. Measure one and measure four, remember, must be the same, okay? So this is part one of your assignment. The other part of your assignment is to go to um, Google Chrome Music Lab and go to, you know, Song Maker and write a melody on the top part and a harmony on the bottom part and some drums at the bottom. So you'd write, you know, let me see if I have my paper here. This is the same paper that I use for the, um, for the video. Let's pretend this is the screen for Songmaker. 
So I have a line that goes up and down. That's a melody line on the top. And then I have a harmony line that goes up and down below this middle line. You'll see that middle line. Once you look for it, you'll see it. That's the harmony line. And then we have the drums down here with the, the uh, triangles and the circles. So all we want is two different lines and see if they match. And if you don't like the way a certain two notes go together or a certain part, you can change it. Okay, that's called editing. We want you to do that. And don't forget to go down in the settings down here, you know that button down there, and change it. Make the song longer or shorter, okay? So this should be an easy 20 minutes for this assignment, which you can make your own manuscript, and for this, which is probably 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, maybe five. You know how to do this already. But now I'm asking you to only make two lines, a bottom line and a top line, and see if they go together. And of course, the percussion. Please try to use and make patterns, okay? Thank you, guys.